Wait, Mr. And Mr. Pigeon next door. No. Oh my God. Uh, get a grip on yourself, Ronnie. It's all my fault. No. Yes, I'm sure that Mr. Pigeon is more sophisticated than I am. No. Yes, Jay's always saying that I'm too jealous. No. Yeah, and, and that I'm too awkward. No. Yes, and that I'm a brute. No. Hell, she doesn't even like the way I dance. Oh, I'm sure you're adequate. I can dance. She doesn't know what she's missing. Uh, uh, <laughs> Mr. Willie! Yes, I was just explaining to my own friend. I'd rather not know what you're explaining. Oh, you can leave him to me. He's got a bit of a problem. So I've heard. I, I usually don't behave like that in public. I'm glad to hear it. Yes, I'll sort it out. Well, perhaps you can sort out Mr. and Mrs. Pigeon next door. Pigeon? Uh, it's all right, Ronnie. No, it's not. Oh, uh, Mr. Pigeon will pay for any damages. Oh, it's not a question of payment. I can't have this kind of thing going on at the Chateau Laurier. <laughs> yes, I understand. <laughs> I'm all for couples consummating their honeymoon, but this is appalling. Honeymoon. <laughs> oh, come on, Ronnie. And neither Mr. nor Mrs. Pigeon are anywhere to be found. Uh, maybe they're in the restaurant. Why don't you go pop in and have a look down there? <laughs> Uh, my young friend here. You're new around here, aren't you? You can go. Oh, 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 oh. And I don't know who you are, young man, or what you're doing in this really suite at this time of night, but I must ask you to vacate the Chateau Laurier immediately. Mr. Willie, in the future, I must ask that you have your girlfriend accompany you on these overnight stays. <laughs> don't you forget, when I find Pigeon, I gotta kick him in the crotch! <laughs> Did you hear any of that? Magnificent? The way he cried and declared his love for me? I've never heard him talk that way before. Uh, discuss with your doctor next week. Uh, did you get him dressed? Yeah, it wasn't easy. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake. It just was dark in there. Just stick him in that. All right. All right. Now, Jane, go down the fire escape and make your way home to Riverview. What am I going to say to Ronnie when he gets back? Uh, tell him Pigeon dragged you here by force. I don't know if I can face Ronnie just yet. Uh, then go to the House of Commons. I can't sleep there. Why not? Everyone else does. All right, George, this is it. Ashburn. Oh, this is good. Walking with Fred. I'll get the elevator and hold it for 30 seconds. You get a blanket from the bedroom and put it around his legs. All right. Uh, and George, if you ever get involved and find yourself in a situation like this, you can count on me. Well, once Ronnie's done with me, I think that'll be out of the question. <laughs>